I'm 19 years old and I want to be a pastry chef. I own Palmer's Sweetery in Maplewood, New Jersey, and we focus on a little bit of sweet and a little bit of savory. Butter, sugar, flour, eggs. Butter, followed by eggs. I would guess like 80 pounds of butter are used in a pastry shop. This week we went through 130 pounds of butter so far, and we haven't hit the weekend yet. A spatula, a mixing bowl, and probably a whisk. One would be a scale, two an offset spatula, and three a sharpie. In the kitchen, we label everything. It's the way we communicate with each other. We label, we keep people safe. We make sure that old food gets removed from the kitchen. I think in order to become a pastry chef, three of the most important skills are being adaptable, being creative, and being able to work long hours. It's really important that you're actually strong in math if you want to get into pastry. I'm okay at math. <laughs> it's important when we're scaling recipes. It's important when we are doubling a recipe or cutting it down by a third. Everything that we do is based on numbers. I would guess that pastries usually have a lifespan of a day, so I think that for certain orders, she would probably make them the day of. Our day actually starts the night before, so we prep a day ahead. Prepping is measuring out your ingredients, cracking eggs, putting things in containers. Prep the night before is getting all the butter cut for biscuits and scones. It can be scaling the dries for cinnamon rolls. When we do donuts, for example, we have to get the dough done the day before so it retards overnight. The first step is measuring out what your ingredients are and setting that aside. Every Sunday we put out donuts. We start the process on Saturday. The dough gets made the day before, the fillings or the glazes get made the day before. I would guess that you like pipe the donuts. We get them rolled, we get them cut, we proof them again. Then you like make a circle donut shape. <laughs> then we fry, we let them cool, we get them glazed and we design them. I think pastry chefs probably work 12 to 13 hours every day. Seven days a week, even when their bakery's closed. I work anywhere from 10 to 16 hours a day. Six and a half days a week, mostly because on Mondays, although we're closed, I go in to get paperwork done and I take advantage of the quiet of the shop. I think 85% of being a pastry chef is trying out new recipes and baking. 50 to 60% of my time is spent baking. The remaining time is spent talking to customers, getting orders, doing paperwork, answering phone calls. I bake once or twice a week, but next year when I get a kitchen, I plan to do a lot more. I think one of the perks of owning your own business is being able to determine your hours and vacation time. I do not make my own hours. My customers make my hours. I have not been on a vacation in four years. I don't think it's anything too like strenuous. Being a pastry chef is 100% physical. I don't think you have to inherently be a strong person. When we put job requirements out, you have to be able to lift 50 pounds. Whether it's lifting bags of flour or 100 pound bags of sugar, whether it's lifting a case of milk, it's lifting eggs, it's rolling dough, everything that we do requires our bodies. I've burned myself baking many, many times, but I don't think anything other, other than that. I was actually at Target shopping and realized that I couldn't move my right leg and didn't know why. I found out that I had a few pinched nerves that were a direct result of not taking care of myself and lifting the wrong way and bending the wrong way. And it actually took me out for a few days. I think that there's a mental toll of being a chef just like from the long hours, but also always trying to be creative and always trying to come up with new things, but I also think it's really fun. Different kitchen environments can be abusive. I think that you miss out on family and friend events. If you are a perfectionist, you want to do everything right all the time, but you're also a human, so you're going to make mistakes. I made desserts for my entire school every week. One of the most difficult things to make are macaroons because you have to be really careful about like over mixing. I remember trying to make them once. It didn't turn out well. <laughs> my least favorite task would be French macarons. They are still to this day the most humbling thing that we make. 
It's not just dependent on your skill. Sometimes it's humidity. It's your oven temperature. Sometimes somebody cracked egg whites and there may have been like the tiniest little bit of yolk in there and it can ruin your entire product. I think a trained chef of five years probably wouldn't have any trouble making a macaroon. I think that even though it's a lot of work, it's worth it at the end of the day because A, you get to do something that you really love to do and B, your product makes other people happy. I think what makes my hard work worth it is when I keep seeing you know, the same customers that we've done a gender reveal cake for and then a first birthday cake and then a second birthday cake. I think seeing my mom in the store and her realizing that I'm not just playing in flower but actually running a real business that she gets to be a part of, that to me is, is what makes it worth it. I'm Maggie, nice to meet you. I'm Kia, nice to meet you. <laughs> I own my own bakery, so what do you want to know? What do you think is like the most challenging thing of like having your own restaurant? Once you open your own place, you're it. So you're the dishwasher, uh -huh. you are the toilet plunger, you're the accountant, <laughs> you are everything in one. But it's awesome because you get to call the shots, you get to have things the way that you want them to be, and yeah. you get to kind of see your dream come to life. So tell me about yourself. Why are you interested in pastry? I actually came from a really small high school in California. I I started volunteering in my school's kitchen. Did that like once, twice every single week. I also did like Sunday breakfast where we made pancakes for the entire school every Sunday. Oh, so you're like um, a professional <laughs> now. Oh, that's awesome. What has been like your favorite place that you've worked at? I would have to say it would be 11 Madison Park because it was my first professional experience. I'm actually working there this summer. Do you have any like advice or like tips for um, being in that environment? If you show up with a positive attitude, ready to work, keep your head down, pay attention, take notes, coupled with a great environment, you'll be fine. So I actually bought you some treats from my shop. Oh my I want God, you to give it a try and tell me what you think. Okay, great. So in here, we have some of our crispy treats. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. They're so good. Thank you. Butter. Butter. That's it? But yeah, just a little more developmental flavor. Yeah. I'm just melting it. 